up you guys? If you saw my video from last week, then you know that this is the second video uh, in which I wanted to really show the kind of states that I get into when I'm in a serious bout of depression or anxiety uh, or both because it is very important for people to show if they're comfortable with showing that you know they're just human and that other people they're not alone if they're feeling this way that it's normal to feel this way because like I said we are human unless you're disguised as an as a human and you're an alien from another planet or galaxy or whatever which I doubt is the case at least for now so I hope this video helps you or a friend or family member in some way as it does help me to know that I am making sure that other people who feel the same way as me don't feel alone hello beautiful world to whoever's watching right now you want to know how anxiety makes me feel well here's a list sad angry depressed sad is only a little bit less than depressed stressed pissed disappointed i'm pissed that i can't stop having anxiety i'm pissed that the reason that i have anxiety is my seizures and that i can't get rid of that there's no magical cure for it at least not for me i can't have surgery to fix it because well i had generalized seizures and they can't fix it they can't go into my brain because it's all over the place and they don't know when the seizure what part of the brain my seizure is going to happen next so they can't fix it i'm upset that my mom is always worried about me <sighs> sad that my mother is the one that takes care of me when I have a seizure, yet she is the one that needs to be taken care of because she has her own physical issues. Disappointed in myself that I'm not strong enough to be able to take care of myself. Angry that other people don't seem to understand that a seizure is something that has to be taken care of, that has that can't be taken lightly. Also angry because a seizure can't be taken lightly. Angry because I can't just have a seizure and then get up and then feel like, oh yeah, there's just a thing you know I'll be fine I, I can walk around can do stuff now no it leaves me incapacitated for quite a long time have a seizure for a couple of minutes the post state which is the recovery time after the seizure usually lasts me about an hour until I can actually function until I can actually consciously be there to understand things like an actual human being like I'm not just a newborn baby that doesn't understand the world disappointed that there is no cure for epilepsy to make it completely go away for everybody there's just small fixes like surgery for some people who are eligible by the way which is not my case. Stress that my anxiety attacks are stemmed from my seizures. Stress that my anxiety attacks are also the reason that I sometimes have seizures. Because of the amount of stress that builds up from the anxiety attack, I tend to have a seizure because of it depressed when I see the way it affects my parents and my sister 
to my friends, the way that they try to hide it when they see me have a seizure. The feeling of helplessness that I feel because I can't help them feel better about my situation and that I know that they feel helpless themselves. Scared. Scared because I know that, you know, my parents, my mom, my dad, they're never gonna be around forever because, you know, immortality is not a thing. My sister has her own life. I don't wanna take that away from her. I don't wanna be a burden on her. I don't wanna be all a burden on anybody. Scared that I'm gonna end up alone. Scared what's going to happen. That if there is nobody to take care of me, what happens when I do have a seizure? If it's not one of those simple, just lay down and relax after type of seizures. If it's a serious seizure, then that's potentially the end of my life. I did live on my own for a short time. I ended up having a seizure. Fell from my bed head first onto the floor. And I was lucky to get by with just a fractured nose. Slightly fractured nose. Although I did have a huge bump in the middle of my forehead that made me look like an alien, but I definitely was lucky. I feel stupid for thinking that there was ever a time that I could be on my own. That I could actually be by myself and not stress out about what's going to happen to me because if I'm by myself, then I won't have any stress. I won't have to worry about so many things and in turn, that means that I wouldn't have seizures. And sure, I had a significant amount less of stress, which in turn did turn into a significant amount less of seizures. I still had seizures, regardless. I feel annoyed, because of course I feel like a burden on everybody. I'm annoyed at myself that I have to be this burden on somebody, that I have to be this burden on practically everybody that knows me. I also feel sad and scared because I feel like nobody is going to actually really accept me for who I am and not just be there because they feel like they have to take care of me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to check out my other channels. My comedy channel, my vlog channel, and my gaming channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays. My vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. And my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mwah.